हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन द क्लास माय सेल्फ अंकित शाह परमार एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास नाइन्थ हिस्ट्री चैप्टर फर्स्ट द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन अप टू द एट्थ क्लास यू हैव ऑलरेडी रीड अबाउट द इवेंट्स ऑफ इंडियन हिस्ट्री बट फ्रॉम नाइन्थ क्लास वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू वॉर्ड द वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री and the french revolution is very important event of the world history so whenever we talk about the french revolution students we always remember the three words the liberty equality and fraternity the ideas of liberty equality and fraternity were the outcomes of french revolution nowadays in every country every people demanding for liberty and equality without any discrimination and so country is also trying to provide its people the feeling of liberty and equality in respect of their caste color and creed so basically we can say that the modern world in which we are living is based on the ideas of liberty equality and fraternity so these words have their own history they are the outcome of the french revolution they get their establishment from the french revolution which was happened in 1789 after the french revolution many countries get inspired to fight for their freedom struggle so in the chapter french revolution we are going to discuss that what happened that time what was the momentum that gave power to people to fight against the traditional monarchy and what were its consequences and what happened later so let's begin with our chapter students the chapter begin with the event called story of bastille so let's discuss the story of bastille it was the morning of 14 july 1789 the king louis 16 ordered troops to move to the city of paris king ordered the troops to destroy the gathering of people who were protesting against the high prices of bread but as soon as the king ordered the troops several rumors started spreading that king might soon order troops to open fire on citizens and these rumors terrified the people something 7000 men and women gathered together in front of the town hall of the city and finally they decided to form a army of regular citizens to counter the king's troops but how can they counter the king troops without the arms and ammunition so divide so they divided into several groups and breaking into government buildings in hope of arms and ammunition but they did not get anything finally a several hundred people reached to the eastern part of the city where bastille prison was located people stormed in the bastille prison after that there were armed fight between the commander of bastille prison and a group of people in which the commander got killed later on all the prisoners that were in bastille prisoner were released although there were only seven prisoners yet the bastille was hated by all because it stood for the uncontrolled and despotic power of the king so people started demolishing the bastille prison the destruction of bastille prison happened at that time and its fragments sold in the market also for the people who want to keep them as a souvenir because the thing that is the fight of common people and king in which common people are gaining the win after the destruction of bastille prison several events happened at that time the chain of rioting started in the city of paris and countryside although the riots and protest was only for the high prices of bread but the chain of events that happened at that time led to the execution of the king so why did this all happen and what happened later we will discuss in the next part of the 
chapter. In the next part of chapter, we are going to discuss from the very beginning the structure of society in France in late 18th century. I hope till now you like the chapter and you are eager to read it more and know more about the French Revolution. That's all for now. Have a nice day. Have a wonderful day and continue your studies. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.